All right, we're back. Part two. And trying to get the stump out. And it's a, it's a beefy one. I think once he gets down through this last little bit of root section here, uh, we'll be able to uh, push it over, push it over this way, push it over like that. We got our lumberjacks over here. We're gonna buck this thing into like six foot chunks and throw it on the trailer, haul it back to the yard, let it dry. Get all the branches off this, this mess cleaned up, get back to doing dirt. Well, Chad got a hold of the skid steer. Now it's off the track, so we're trying to Backwards a little bit easy, real easy. Okay. Yeah, like down in there. Uh, push back down on it to, to get it lifted up. Now we should be able to get it. Through. Keep going. Keep going. A little bit. Hold it. Okay, roll back some more. Going. Yeah, if you can, if you can get those, just yeah. keep going. Hold it. Try to get right in that. Yeah, right in there. Back. Okay. Now we're gonna have to get down on that and get it lifted up. Keep going. Back, back, back. That's. Yep. Almost. Hold it. Hold it. Yep. Stop. You almost got it. I think if you do that again. Try like. Okay, now try it. Hold it. Okay, if I can keep that in there. And get another bite right there. Ah. Okay, roll it back. Damn it. Damn it. Nope. Nope. Okay. I think we'll get it back on. Just got to get that bottom track in there. There we go. Keep going. Yep, you're in. Okay, that's it. Good. That'll do her. Gotta get it up high enough. Huh? <laughs> Go get the grease gun. Pump it. 
we couldn't make it through the day without everything going good so we had to have this happen right at the end right at five o'clock <laughs> Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of grease. There she goes. Yeah. We out. We don't have any with us? No. Well, we had two. They greased everything. Yeah. They need to grease again, but... Gotta let them get their sniff on in the morning so they can relax. They get a little sniff in the morning and then they relax. Beautiful morning up here in Mammoth. Uh, Kind of a warm front came in the last couple days it's been getting up right around 80 during the day so not not quite as cool as it was getting at night there i think it's our last little warm front for the year we'll see still think we might have an early winter guys I think uh, first stop this morning let's go check out Valentine Reserve and see how that deck is looking we're gonna pass by uh, the melon house right now that we're putting the roof on we'll come back by there later once the guys get set up but you can see the lower section has gone on we got the beam up over the porch, over the front porch there. So that's going pretty good too. Three days into that one. And we're three or four days into framing on this deck. It's going a little slower. We only got two guys over here, which is fine. Um, there's no big rush as long as we get it done before the uh, snow flies see some deer up here maybe we'll get a chance to get them on camera there's three of them probably can't see them with the camera ah, they're gonna stop for me I think Let's see if I can get up closer oh they got spooked they're moving up through the canyon there's another one Doe right here. Not even paying attention to me. Oh, there's another one eating right off the table. Huh. They don't care. Getting a little snack off the table there. Okay. Looks like we ended up with uh, a couple extra posts. This thing's looking pretty good. Jeremiah got the uh, hangers. We had to do a couple custom hangers here for these beams we got some joists laid out some floor joists
coming right along. Got his ledger going across. Now on the bottom here, this is where we were talking about that connection. And it looks like we're gonna be okay with uh, plenty of, uh, of stem well to attach to on the bottom. I would say if things go well today, they'll get all the joists run. And maybe we'll start putting on the uh, Trex. Trex decking by tomorrow. So, not too shabby. Nice little deck for this old cabin. see the remnants of the old footing that was there we put all these new piers in We'll come back later and see how the day goes for these guys. Okay, we got the track back on and all tightened back up on that deal. Chad's greasing it. Got the tree out yesterday, got a big moat there. So today is gonna be a lot of organics. We're, uh, we're gonna be fishing all this root material out of this dirt, sorting all the rocks. And uh, we got this little bench right here and my plan is to try to cut around this way and kind of make a path of travel that we can use to get up to the top and we're going to uh we're actually going to raise this upper bench is going to be about 10 or 15 foot wide and you know almost level with the street you know maybe just a little bit down from the street and that'll make it to where we can access with the you know a skid steer or a uh, excavator we can come down go around here like this and get to the bottom and we can kind of hopefully we can keep this open um, depending on how close this cut gets right here in this area it could be a, a little bit tricky because we're kind of running out of room but um, I think we'll be able to do it and that'll make this thing nice and accessible And then we're gonna hog out this big old hole right here. So yesterday we ran into a problem with the, the dump, which I've never really had a problem like that, but these timbers, they only accept like, so many pounds per month and we're apparently we're way over our um allowable amount per month so now i've got to sort i've got to sort all these out and just have the organics and then i'm going to have to figure out an alternate plan for the uh for the timbers which is costing us a little bit of time here but what are you going to do that's the uh, firewood we got out of the tree. Got some pretty nice rounds out of it. It's like they cut them into six footers, so fairly manageable. We're gonna take them home and uh, we'll cut 18 inch, um, we'll cut them down into 18 inch rounds and then split them these timbers we're going to keep because they're in fairly good condition and we'll use them I don't know for cribbage or whatever as you can see this it looks like a mess here right now but uh, 
we're gonna work on uh, tight, you know, getting this thing tightened up, looking good. We'll have a big rock pile here with all our, all our excess rock that we're gonna save. And uh, get this thing looking good by uh, the end of the week. Well, pop in here to the office for a minute. I'll show you guys what that job's gonna look like when we get it done. So here's that house that we're working on right now. That tree that we took out was pretty much right where the corner of the house is. So the big cut goes over here, big old cut. And uh, and it's a pretty, pretty good sized house. Um, That's the main level coming in off the street. It's got a lower, a lower level on it. But pretty cool house. Exciting times for us. Okay, this looks interesting. So this is the gate we had to repair. I'm trying to get it to... Here, hold on. If I lift up on this, it might. I think it'll go. Looks like it'll go. Well, this thing's. That's where it's at. I mean, it's good right there. We just got to fix that over there. And raise that this thing up on the bottom to where yeah, it's. Yeah. I was gonna make a little deal where it was kind of. Kind of gives way. it some kinda support. Yeah. It, yeah. Come up just a little bit, Owen. Hold it. Because once it is there. So we got these in, but this, this doesn't. Yeah. And not do any adjustments. We gotta see if we can get a nut on the end of that. See if that worked. Okay, we got it hanging on its own free will. Mike's gonna touch up the hinge there. Quick little project in the books. Sure, they're glad to have their their gate back up with their nice sign. <laughs> 